Ready to do some maths together? Okay, right. Today, we are going to start with some counting. Now, you will need your number cards or a bit of paper and a pen to write down some numbers. Okay, so pause the video. Either get your number cards um, up to 10 out or get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. Right, are you ready? Okay, now this game involves you putting coins inside this tub. Now you can't see how many are in there, so you've got to hold the number in your head as I drop them in. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. I've got a coin, I'm popping it in. So in your head, you'd be saying one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to stop, okay? And you've got to keep that number in your head of how many coins are in my pot. And then you're going to hold up that number card or write the number down on a piece of paper. Do you understand the game? Yeah? Okay, let's give it a go then. Are you ready? Try and count in your head as I drop the coins into my pot. Ready? What number was that? Can we do it once more to double check? Do you get the same number? It was five. Well done if you worked out that it was five. Don't worry if not, just keep trying to count in your head. And if you find that too tricky, then just say the numbers out loud. Okay, right, next one. Right, are you ready? Here we go. How many is that? Count it up. Right, I'll do it once more. Ready? What number do you get to? Did you get it? Seven. Well done if you did. One more. There we go. Ready? So wait for the coin to hit the bottom of the pot before counting. If you get it, once more, to double check your answer. What did you get? Well done, if you got nine, and if you want to play this game at home with somebody in your family, that would be great, it's really good counting practice. Okay, right, so today we're going back to thinking about 3D shapes. And remember, on Monday we learned a 3D shape song, and I'm just going to share a little bit of it with you now, okay? Uh, so let's just make sure that you can see my screen. Something's just gone funny, so hopefully get those magic fingers going, and hopefully it will share this time. Magic fingers, are they going? I think I'm going to need your magic to get it to work. Is it working? Why is it blank? Can you see my screen? Thumbs up if you can. Yeah? Brilliant. Okay, thank you for doing that magic spell for me. So, um, a little bit of the song goes like this. It's a cube, it's a cuboid, it's a cylinder. 
And as I say the 3D shapes, I want you to point to them. Are we ready? It's a cube, it's a cuboid, it's a cylinder. Let's do it a bit quicker. It's a cube, it's a cuboid, it's a cylinder. Good. And now we're going to do the last bit. It's a sphere or it's a cone. Again, point to the shapes. It's a sphere or it's a cone. I know all about them. I can fill in a list of all the shapes I know. Okay. Right. So we'll have a go at singing that song again together and point to the shapes. Ready? I'll try and do it a little bit slower. Are we ready? It's a cube, it's a cuboid, it's a cylinder, it's a sphere or it's a cone. I know all about them, I can fill in a list of all the shapes I know. What's more, a bit quicker. It's a Cube, it's a cuboid, it's a cylinder, it's a sphere or it's a cone. I know all about them, I can fill in a list of all the shapes I know. Well done everybody, good singing. Okay, so we're going to just have a look at some of these shapes again. Can you remember the name of this shape? Well done if you said cuboid. What do you notice about this shape? Can you spot some rectangles? Can you spot some rectangles? Yeah, that's right. And I've got a cuboid here and it's got rectangular faces. And look here, I've got squared faces. You remember what this shape is called? Well done if you said cylinder. Let's say that one together. Cylinder. What do you notice about this shape? It's got a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom. And remember on Monday, we talked about how there were lots of cylinders to be found, especially in the kitchen cupboards. Do you remember the name of this shape? It's a tricky one, isn't it? It's called a sphere. Can you say that together? Sphere. Brilliant. And you see different things that are sphere shape. Balls are spheres and they're good at rolling. Spheres are good at rolling because they have a curved face. Curved face, it goes all the way around. And that's a sphere. What about this one? Do you remember the name? I'll give you a clue. Can you see the ice cream cone? It's a cone. What do you notice about this shape? Can you see it's got a circle at the bottom and a point at the top? Brilliant. And this one? Well done if you said a cube. When I see this, I often think of an ice cube that I put in my drinks to keep them nice and cool in the summer. Cube. What do you notice about this shape? It's got all squared faces. All squared faces. Here's my cube. It's a dice, isn't it? And they're all squared faces. Right, we're going to play a little matching game. Can you see that there's a ball on the screen? Which shape does it match with? Can you work it out? Well done if you said it matches with the sphere. It's a sphere shape. Let's do another one. A hay bale. This is a tricky one. Any ideas? Which shape does this match with? Well done if you said cuboid. Cuboid.
point. We see the squared faces and the rectangle faces. Right, now this one at the top, you see where my pen is? And circle it if that makes it easier. Whoa, there we go. What shape? Well done if you said cylinder. And the last one, I'll circle it again. And can you see it's actually circled the bit that we're looking at? Yeah, it's the cone. Well worked out, everybody. Okay, so I know that on Monday we went for a shape hunt around your house, but I'd like you to do the same again. You can see if you can find different shapes. So I want you to find different 3D shapes around your house, and then you're going to do some sorting. I want you to sort the shapes. How have you sorted the shapes? Maybe you've done it by 3D shapes. Could you put all the spheres together? and all the cuboids together, put all the cylinders together. So sort the shapes out and see what you notice about the shapes in that group. Check they are all spheres. Have they all got that curved face? Are they all cylinders with a circle on the top and the bottom? That's what I want you to do. So get somebody from your family to take a photo or you take a photo of the groups that you have sorted. Look forward to seeing what you get up to. Well done, everybody.